I can't even watch Papa Me talk about Winnie the Pooh the Horror Movie without seeing some bullshit on the news. Apparently, I think we're either getting a Back to the Future reboot or a fourth movie, which, first of all, can I just say that if we do get a fourth movie, I know the perfect people who can write the script, and that's the Nostalgia Critic crew. Um, uh, fan, um, fact, fan fiction or whatever, um, what was it called? They have this thing on their channel where they write scripts, and, like, for movies, like, what they, what, like, you know, fan scription, it's called fan scription. This is the video they made, like, if they made it Back to the Future 4. Very good video. Very good video. I am, although, um, I don't think there would be a Back to the Future 4. I, cause, like, Look, guys, Michael J. Fox has Parkinson's, bro. Like, man, um, can't even do stuff no more. All right, I think the last time he acted was in Designated Survivor. For those of you who don't know, Michael J. Fox and <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland. Um, I don't know if they were in a movie together, but they're both Canadian, so Canadians gotta stick together. And, and he was in Designated Survivor as a guy going against um the president. I don't remember what his name was. Uh, I was just shocked to see him acting. I don't know what was the last voice acting he did, but he's a pretty good voice actor. Y'all remember Atlantis? Pretty good, pretty good. Anyways, so I'm not sure if there'd be a Back to the Future 4, but now this is going to sound really, really cringe, but I made a Back to the Future 4 fan fake. I called it like Back to the Future Next Gen, and it was about Doc's kids having to fix their fuck up, and Marty has two kids, one who's really smart and she's a girl, and then the other one who's a wimp. And I did like a fan casting for them, and the and the daughter was Ellie Fanning, while the son was Dylan O'Brien, and then I for, and then I casted these two twins as the um, the boys for some reason. I don't know why. It's a weird fanfic. I discontinued eventually, but it would have been really good because I had so much shit for that one. Like, um, Needles' son finds out about the time machine and makes one. I don't even know how he makes one. I think I don't know what I planned out for that one, but yeah, I would be bringing back Flea basically, and then like, um. Biff, that's his name, Biff, sorry, I, I forgot his name, uh, he would have a redemption arc, he'd be like, you know what, I've been bad all my life, but I'm, I'm gonna be good, and he protects the kids, honestly, pretty stupid, but also, apparently we might get a Back to the Future reboot, now, here's the thing for that one, um, instead of doing a movie reboot, because, uh, Lord knows Parkinson's would stop Michael J. Fox from doing that, well, I don't know if it would, he could technically still voice out, it just, it just makes it harder for him to do it, um, but if they if they do a reboot, I think I recommend them fixing the Telltale either the Telltale game or the show, the animated series, which we'll talk I think I talked about once in a video. If not, I'm gonna redo it um anyway. But I do recommend that maybe they could reboot the animated series or they could re make the games. There's also comics, so maybe they could bring that back somehow. Honestly, guys, I don't think a, a reboot is a good idea. Even if the actors are on board, we already have Back to the Future stuff. We have the three movies, we have the comics, we have the game, we have the show, and we have an upcoming musical that came from London and is now coming to America. That was approved. Uh, people don't like that, but that was approved. So... Sorry, just... Uh, anyways. But yeah, I just wanted to rant about this because like, it's kind of... stupid. Is that the right word? No, that's too harsh. I just think it's not smart. Because, like, we're really sick of reboots, man. They didn't reboot Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted got that third movie. Done. Bill and Ted's story is done. Billy and Thea's, however, is not done. Which, I'm going to bring back my old video and say that Billy and Thea need their own goddamn movie or TV show. Um, I remember I was in a thing... Where we, where um, they, this person was going to make an animated Billy and Thea show, like in the style of the fir first season of Bill and Ted, the cartoon, and I was so on board with it, I was helping out and giving ideas. I don't know if we're still doing that. I haven't talked to the person in a long time, but that that works. Also, um, I think we should fix the comics a little bit. The only comic that's technically canon is the newer comics, which show Billy and Thea as girls, because in the older Marvel comics, Billy and Thea are boys. They're Bill and Ted Jr., you know. Oh, no, they're Little Bill and Little Ted, but still, you know. But yeah, like, a Back to the Future reboot? Y'all got rid of that Back to the Future ride, and I'm still mad. But, and then again, y'all got rid of the Jaws ride, too. You got me messed up. I was so looking forward to that. I was so looking forward to it. Get rid of the Fast and Furious ride, man. I went on that thinking it was going to be fun. That shit was so boring, but the Power of Family got me through it. But, um... 
Yeah, just like, I don't know, man. I would say just do a cartoon. I mean, yeah, sure. There's a lot of shitty cartoons nowadays, but like, you know, there's some good ones out there. You know, there's some... Anyone can get a cartoon, bro. Anyone can get it. I could get a cartoon right now, bro. I literally... Okay, this is my next video. Because I, I know I'm going to rant about this right here. So I'm not, I don't want to rant about this. My idea for another Scooby-Doo crossover is a Motley Crew one. And I know what you're all going to say, but just hold your opinions and hear me out in the next video. Because that's going to be a long video. But, because Scooby-Doo did a movie with Kiss called Kiss... Uh, it was Scooby-Doo and Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery where um, they fought aliens and they expanded the KISS lore. Because if you don't know, there's lore with KISS. There's actual lore with KISS. Another video for another time. But, you know, yeah. And before you say, oh, a Motley Crue Scooby-Doo movie, that's weird. May I remind you there was a WWE crossover? And a crossover with witches? With witches? And then a KISS movie had aliens? Saving that for another video. But yeah, um, what do you guys think of this idea, I would say, for a reboot or a fourth movie? Uh, in my opinion, um, until I hear from the writers themselves, from the creators themselves, until I hear it come out of the words of Robert Zemeckis, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't know what the script will be. I don't even know if they could bring back any of the original actors. Um, I heard that, um, Christopher Floyd and, uh, Michael J. Fox, sorry, they don't mind if it was like a gender bend or gender swap um, reboot, but um, if I'm being honest, I wouldn't mind a next gen thing, because Marty and Jennifer were always destined to just be together, bro. We can bring back Elizabeth Shue, she's not busy, she's done with Cobra Kai, she did her time, she's done with that, okay? We can bring her back for this, we can give, we can cast, okay? Make Dylan O'Brien Marty McFly's son, I don't know, name him like, uh... Shoot, you know what? I, I had a name for next-gen characters. I'm going to my Wattpad right now. I had names for these characters. I made characters... Oh my god, I gotta fucking log in. I can't do with this bullshit. Alright, listen. I made a Back to the Future fanfic. I just mentioned that in the video. But I gave such good lore, bro. Such good lore. Sorry, I am looking for it right now. Uh, I'm not gonna my notification right now. I need to go to my profile. If you want to, if you want to know what it is, uh, it's called uh, BTTF Next Gen. I mean, it looks like shit, but I mean, like you don't have to read it. I just, I'm just gonna tell you what I did the um casting thing. Yeah, yeah, all that bullshit. Um, while I'm here, uh, I was going to do a TV show review, but that's being put on hold. I'm not done with The Last of Us. I'm not done with The Last of Us. Right? I'm not done with it. When it's done, I'll be done. All right. I'm so excited for the newest episode. I'm, I haven't watched the newest episode yet. Uh, where is it? Oh my god, I have so many goddamn fanfics. Speaking of reboots and stuff, can we have a sequel to Freaked? I freak oh, found it! There we go. Okay, uh, let's see what I did here. Okay. I named Marty's kids Joanna and Emmett. Uh, as you can see, I did name Emmett after Doc. Obviously, I figured Marty would want to name his kid after Doc, which is very nice of him. Uh, yeah, I made Emmett by, but I mean, that's just a whole other thing. We don't have to do that. It doesn't have to apply to anything, because um, I started to, like a Bill and Ted thing in this fanfic where they brought back someone from that time period, which is sort of almost what Doc did in Back to the Future 3, but except he stayed in that time period, which I don't know. That must have fucked up the space-time continuum, but then again, a lot of things have fucked with the space-time. Stay it don't matter. So yeah, that's the that's the name I gave for the kids. Um, Listen, guys, you could either hire me or hire a nostalgia critic to write your script, all right? That's all I'm going to say about that. This video is already nine minutes long, so I'm just going to end it right here. Next video, I'm going to talk more about my idea for a Motley Crue Scooby-Doo movie, and then after that, I'm going to try talking about the Kiss lore, because I've been thinking about making a comic about the lore, because the lore is very confusing. It's so, so confusing, because each member of Kiss, they're, first of all, uh, they're aliens, but I want to fix that and make only two of them aliens and the other one's not because, um, I know you all, we all know that, um, Ace and Peter were booted off the band and then there was Eric and, uh, Bruce and Vinny, Vincent and all these other people and then we got, you know, Eric, Carr and Tommy Thayer. So my idea was, okay, 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 okay. 
talk about it later. It's like 10 minutes long. I'm gonna go back to editing my Motley Crue video. We're watching Papa Meat. I'm watching him right now. Papa Meat. Follow him, please. It, that's me, Kane, by the way, in case y'all are wondering. That's the man who gave you nightmares. Yeah, that's that's the guy with the toy and the tiger rub. Anyways, um, if I edit that Motley Crue video quickly, it will come out soon. Otherwise, if not, I will be talking about my idea for another Scooby-Doo crossover movie, and then the Kiss lore, and then the Motley Crue video, if if it is in that order. And then I'm going to do my other video that I was going to do, which is the um, Tony Hawk animated movie, but... Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go edit this now. Um I'll see you all later.